this week it was not a really big week for me. Um, not a really a lot of releases coming out that I really, really, really wanted to have. So I was really light on picking up anything this past week, which is good because my wallet needs a little bit of a break every once in a while. But I did pick up a few things. We'll go ahead and show you what I did in this video today. First thing I picked up this week was um, Star Wars Resistance Season 1 on DVD. Really enjoyed the series. Um, it's really a unique look and um, just kind of goes beneath the surface of the um, First Order a little bit more. Shows you what their, how their reach throughout the galaxy is starting to grow. Has some really fun characters and the animation style is really great. Only complaint is, yes, is DVD. I really wish they could have gone with a Blu-ray for this release. The series could have really benefited from the expanded color and the sharpness that a Blu-ray could give you versus a DVD. They were smart enough on this one to give us four discs and spread out the episodes between four discs, so it is a lot less compressed in some releases. I know sometimes a lot of series just kind of cram as much as they can on the two discs, and thankfully they were wise enough not to do that and put it on the four discs, so the compression is not nearly as bad as it could be. And I did get a new Blu-ray player, well, a new 4K Blu-ray player, actually, which I'll show you on another video. And the compression, um, the upscaling for that has helped a lot, so it's not nearly as much of an eyesore. But it definitely does lack the sharpness and the color definition that you would get with a Blu-ray, unfortunately. Next up is, of course, I have to go weekly to my comic shop. And this week came out Powers of 10 number 3. For some reason or another, their story is kind of wavering every once in a while. They show they released two issues of Powers of 10. After going back and forth a little bit, they were doing two issues. I guess the story kind of flows this way, I guess, before they want to reveal any more, especially with that reveal in House of X number 2. That was such a sucker punch. And this actually does have some things that tie up a little bit about what they, what they showed in Powers of 10 number 2. Um, especially towards the end of this issue, there is a revealing with one of the characters in Pal um, House of X number two, showing them throughout the future. There's also a big, uh, they finally do a big showdown between Nimrod and Apocalypse, which I will not spoil for you either in this issue. Definitely a lot of um, answers being shown in this series, but there's still a lot of questions, and my interest is still really peaked on this. Really enjoying this direction the X-Men are going right now. Next up was Event Leviathan number three. Another really good event. Bendis has moved to DC and he's really excelling with the mystery slash crime drama and um, style with his series. This is kind of spin out, spun out of what um, he was doing in action co his action comics run so far. And it's really, really good. I love his action comics so far. Um, his um, Superman is kind of just run of the mill. It's just kind of basic Bendis thing. It's not mm -hmm. nothing terrible, but nothing spectacular in that series. But really, the meat and potatoes of his run has been action comics. I've really enjoyed that. That seems to be where he's thriving as a writer, in my opinion, for these characters. This series is also really great, so I'm really enjoying it so far. Last up, we have Dr. Afra number 35. Really good series. I always enjoyed it. I'm a little bit behind on this, and I know um, this is the start of a new arc, so I'm just going to try to get caught up on um, maybe this weekend on that series and um, just be caught up with all my comics finally. I've really gotten really behind, and I got caught up a few weeks ago and been trying to stay on top of it now. Anyways, guys, that was all I had this week. I um, hope you enjoyed this. And you know what to do. If you like this, um, give me a like and a subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.